Hello adventurers, today we will be trying out Persona 5 The Phantom Axe, a new spin-off series from the popular JRPG Persona series. What's even more exciting, they published this on mobile and PC. But what's not exciting is that it's currently only available in China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau and South Korea. But with the power of VPN, we can save a few hundred ringgits on traveling and download the game to play now. But unfortunately, they do not have an English version, so we will have to play my second mother tongue language, Mandarin. So we apologize in advance if we get confused on hearing Japanese but reading Mandarin. By the way, this game is free. Gamer Braves Remember Joker from Persona 5? He might not be the main character in this game, but he is still the face of Persona 5 The Phantom Axe. In this alternate timeline of the game, we follow their new character Wonder, your typical cool yet clueless protagonist, but with the risk of Ryan Reynolds. The story is pretty much almost the same as Persona 5. You go to school, do missions with Ruferu, fight shadows their personas and fight corrupted individuals with distorted desires in their home turf. Along the way, you meet other characters like Motoha Arai, codenamed Closer. She is a talented baseball player but struggles on enjoying baseball out of guilt of what she did to her idol. There's also Shun Kanu, codenamed Soi, a student who is an amazing cook but due to his struggle with socializing and having a fierce appearance, he always eats lunch alone at the rooftop. There's also Riko Tanimura, a rich girl who was kind enough to help us get rid of some annoying girls, but we don't know much about her yet. Everyone in the world is suffering from what I call giving up syndrome. Everyone just gives up and has a forget about it attitude. In contrast, the protagonists are on some form of self-discovery journey where they stand up to their mistakes and not giving up. It wouldn't be a Persona game without Igor and his assistants in the Velvet Room. In this game, Igor has a new attendant, Merope. She can uniquely summon personas and cognitive manifestations to aid the protagonist. These cognitive manifestations are people the protagonist has met or heard of and Merope also granted them a persona from the Sea of Souls. She names these people fans of idols. In the Velvet Room, you can do your usuals, upgrading your personas or fuse your personas. So far, we only managed to enter Velvet Room when you are in a so-called safe room. As it's also a mobile game, gacha system is something a must-have in it. As for Persona 5 The Phantom X, you can gacha for personas and your persona idols. I really love their style of gacha pool. You enter the Velvet Room with just you and Merope. She hands you a contract to accept the terms that I use gacha to hide my gambling addiction. And then you pray to RN Jesus to get Joker. A more interesting extra feature is they add an actual gacha pawn inside the game. You can gacha for cute plushies such as these. As much as I love Persona games, personally I won't be playing it on my phone, so thank you for adding it to PC too. The one thing I can't get over with Persona is their storytelling. I need to read their dialogues and really process their story, but I can't achieve that when playing on mobile. There is just too much distractions for me. The gameplay loop is the same with Persona 5, turn-based and elemental advantages. 
but hey, if it ain't broke, why change it? I appreciate that this game's direction is not too far off from the original Persona 5, just a toned down version of it for the addition for Gacha system. I really enjoy the game so far, but please release an English version soon, because I know a lot of Persona fans are excited to try it out. And hey, if you want, you can subscribe to us and we will let you know when or if they drop the English version. Thank you for watching. Hello again adventurers. Did you enjoy the video? Let us know in the comments below. Drop a subscribe to help the channel out. We hope you have a great day and keep on gaming.